Oh hey, let's check out what's in the news today, shall we? Canva, Amazon, Google, Atlassian, and Jane Street's paying graduates salaries up to 350,000? What? Graduates? Who are they hiring? Some of the eye-watering salaries, which would normally only be paid to chief executives, are seen at trading firms seeking software engineers, with Jane Street paying $350,000 and Amsterdam-based trading platform Optiver offering $250,000. Oh my god, that's me! I'm a software engineer and I'm in demand right now. I have all the power in the world. What's going on? Design company Canva is offering 173,000 pay packets for software engineers and revealed it has received more than 260,000 applications for roles over the past year. Oh my goodness, what has the world come to? When I first started as a software engineer, I was only getting paid $60,000 a year and back then, it was one of the highest salaries ever for a graduate. But now, the pay has gone up 3-4 to four times and... This is just insane. Maybe I should stop running a YouTube channel and focus on getting paid like this when I still can. This is a great opportunity, don't you think? Okay, sorry. Let me backtrack a little here. The whole reason I started a YouTube channel was because I wanted to get out of the 9 to 5 job. I wanted to control my own income stream. Because I've seen many people in their 40s, especially in their 50s, where they have become expensive and they are usually the first to be made redundant whenever there's a company restructure. So I didn't want that and I know I need to protect myself and so I believe that running a YouTube channel opens up possibilities and new opportunities. Because, and I'm not sure about you guys, but I find climbing the corporate ladder ridiculously hard and I can't be certain where I'll be when I'm in my 40s or my 50s. I also find that to get to the top positions, I need to play the office politics really well, which I suck at it. But now this opportunity presented to software engineers due to the pandemic, I have to be honest, it is making me think twice. It certainly doesn't solve my initial problem of escaping 9 to 5, but now, if I'm getting about $200,000 to $300,000 a year, I can easily save up on that money, put that money into property investment and not worry anymore. And hey, here's my honest truth. I have been unmotivated to run a YouTube channel lately due to this. You know how sometimes you're presented with an opportunity and you know it is a great opportunity, yet you have all these things to worry about at the same time? That's me right now. I fear that taking up this opportunity will affect my YouTube channel because I might not have the time to record a video or write my script or do video editing. And I also fear that what if I made the wrong choice? What if this is a bad opportunity in disguise and I just messed up all the good things I have right now? I mean sure, creating videos is pretty fun. Having you guys engage with me and allowing me to help you, it feels great. But look, I am a long way from having my YouTube channel generating me an income that is sustainable. Just have a look, both March and April, I did not earn even a hundred bucks. To be clear, I'm not complaining about how low the amount is. I understand it takes time to build up. What's bothering me right now is what's going to happen in the next five years. If I choose to focus on my YouTube channel for the next five years and I manage to build up my portfolio to $120,000 a year, is that going to be worth it? In contrast, if I get a software engineer job now and get paid $200,000 a year, is that going to be worth it? In 5 years, I would have made a million dollars. Pre-tax of course. And this is the crossroad, right? I'm sure many of you have come to your own crossroad as well and you have to make a decision. Now I hope you understand that I am by no means trying to brag here. I just want to address that sometimes in life, there comes a time where you have to make a decision, be it a bad one or a good one, and that decision can potentially change your life completely. Just close your eyes for a minute and think about the time where you were presented with this great opportunity but you did not take it and now you wish you did because that single decision could have changed your entire life. Look, I'm not trying to make you regret or anything, it is what it is, but sometimes we tend to think what could have happened if we took up that opportunity, right? 
So here's the thing I want to share with you today. If you find yourself at that position where there's this great opportunity waiting for you and you can't seem to decide because you might end up losing what you have right now, try seeing it this way. And I'll use my current situation as an example. Hopefully you can relate. My ultimate goal here is to have control over my income source, right? So it doesn't have to be a million dollars. As long as I have enough for the month to pay my mortgage, my bills, have enough for entertainment and maintain my time freedom, I'm good. With that in mind, it is just a matter of short-term goal versus long-term goal. The better long-term goal here is running a YouTube channel. I have more control, I can create new opportunities instead of waiting for one, and I have a bit of freedom. The downside here is it is not guaranteed and there is going to be a lot of work involved for a few years. The short-term goal here is of course getting a high-paying job. The pay is extremely good, I can make that $200,000 a year right now and it is less effort. The downside here is I may lose control over my freedom, I could be working extra hours, and I may have to give up my own goal. Now everything has its own pros and cons here, so we have to start thinking. What can we afford to lose and what do we want to keep? The most ideal situation here is to have a high paying full-time job and also be able to do something on the side, such as running a YouTube channel. That way you can have the short-term goal first while at the same time achieve your long-term goal. I find that to be the most perfect scenario. Because the future is unknown, right? We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Nobody thought there would be a pandemic and nobody would have thought working from home could be productive. Productive. And it's the same with any jobs, no jobs are secure. Software engineers are in demand now, but who is to say they will still be in demand next year? And who's to say once there's an abundance of software engineers, the market gets saturated and companies realize they have been overpaying like crazy, so they start firing all these software engineers in order to hire new and cheaper ones. I know this can sound really extreme, but as of this video, opportunity is on our hands, the employees. Recently. Apple's chief of machine learning quits over return to office policy. Apple's new return to work policy is being phased in and by the end of May, all employees will be required to be present in the office Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays and most will be able to work remotely on remaining weekdays. And their chief of machine learning quits because of this which proved one major point. Employees now are in power, they want to work from home because they want more time to spend with their family or doing things they love and not waste their time getting stuck in traffic. And there's this battle going on where big companies want to stick to the traditional work from office method, so they're quickly losing top talents to small and mid-sized companies who can offer better work-life balance. And I'm not joking, I've seen companies throwing all these perks that I've not seen before, from permanently working from home, to working four days but getting paid five days, to even unlimited paid leave. And I did not say that wrong, there really is such a thing as unlimited paid leave. So my point here is times have changed and it is possible to balance between working full time and still be able to work on what you love on the site because now you are able to demand time. I don't think you need to choose one or the other, it is possible to balance them and it is a fantastic time to be an employee. The question here would be, what is your priority and how urgent is it for you to achieve your goal? Anyways, that's all for me in this video. Thumbs up and sub if you enjoyed this, okay? Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.